Oh, and we're here today to talk about the amazing Spider-Man. This is mm -hmm. the newest and latest of the superheroes to come through for the summer. Uh, the name Spider-Man may sound familiar since I feel like we almost recently saw a Spider-Man movie. When was that? It was just maybe five years ago. Look, there's no reason to discuss why this movie was made. It's here. So the point is, if they're doing a reboot of Spider-Man, how does it go? Well, I think that Andrew Garfield is a brilliant substitute and replacement for Tobey Maguire. It's telling the same genesis, which is how Peter Parker gains his special powers. And what I love about this particular interpretation is that the emphasis is on relationships. The emphasis is on Peter Parker as a loner. And his love interest with the girl next door played by the wonderful Emma Stone. I feel like if you take away all of the kind of heroics, this is a little tiny relationship movie and I thought that this was an interesting way to reboot the franchise. Well, I don't know if I think anything about this movie is tiny. Look, the <laughs> word for it I think is unamazing. Um, I do not want to see Hollywood remaking movies from 10 years ago. That's but, too late for that. But when I went into this movie, I checked my cynicism at the door. And I said, okay, let's see what you got. And for about 45 minutes, I was kind of enjoying it, checking off the little details of how this differs from the first Maguire version of Spider-Man. But if Hollywood is going to reboot a franchise like this, what it owes us is an origin story that is fresh and different. And this movie isn't nearly different enough. It's a rerun. And as a result, it sags. Well. If we're talking about reboots that work, I think the only thing we talk about is Batman, which was an entire reconception. I feel like this is a subtler change in what he's doing. Look, do we need it? No. But the guy, Mark Webb, who directed it, actually made an indie before this. This, I felt, has this nice, small feeling to it. The tiny details of Peter Parker's relationship with his parents, who are played so well by Sally Field and Martin Sheen. I think that there are lovely moments in this, and in fact, the heroics are not nearly as important as the feeling that goes into it. Well, I just feel like it was hitting all the franchise beats. And in terms of the relationship, look, Emma Stone is, she is as, incandescent, as good say. as it gets. Yep. But I thought that the relationship as scripted was very standard. It didn't do anything that we hadn't seen before in many of these franchise movies. And the bottom line is when you get to the second half, the villain, a scientist, turns into Lizard Man, and this is a very unimaginative villain. And at a certain point in the second hour, I was watching CGI Spider-Man face. But not C so much actually. The whole point CGI is that, that Lizard there was Man. a lot of there was a lot of action that was not CGI. Again, this was smaller and sort of more handcrafted. I don't agree with you. I think you're I you're seeing not. you're seeing a handcrafted indie style movie that wasn't there. I thought this was a very... No, it was there. You weren't seeing the adorability of it. Well, I thought it was a very top-heavy movie, and the bottom line is it had no surprise. I mean, that is what a superhero movie needs but to Spider -Man, do. But Spider-Man, how could Spider-Man have surprise at this point? And I think it would have been possible to make a Spider-Man movie that staked out a new terrain. The fact that this doesn't means that by the second half of the movie, it really becomes kind of dull, and I think that in a month or two this film is going to be forgotten. Well, I think in a couple of months Andrew Garfield will have established himself as a new kind of hero for these kind of movies, soulful, lovely, and the combination of him and Emma Stone are something we're going to see more of in the future. I think that Garfield and Stone are really terrific actors, but I think this is the competent, unamazing, been there, done that Spider-Man.